Welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to show you my show text with outline plugin. It's super easy to install and use. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is go to my Vaz Imports page. You're going to go scroll down and download the plugin. Once you do that, you're going to extract it. And when we click inside here, we have just a few things. We have a sample project, the plugin itself, and then the readme. So I'm just going to right click and copy this the sample project, put it in my PGM folder. Then I'm going to go to PGM and open it. And now there should be an up and running sample, which shows the text with an outline. So you can go to plugins and you can see that here are all the options. Basically what this is, is it runs the show text and it just adds an outline. Now there's a couple different options for the outline. You can have a full and you can have a drop shadow. So if we go to that same runtime action, show text with outline, which is on the uh, plugins right here, you can go to a drop shadow and click OK and hit play test and it will show a drop shadow. So it's not a full shadow, it's just a drop shadow. And so yeah, basically what this is doing is it's running the show text command so right here. So all these options are available except for variables. The show text variable option is not available and also the changing of the font and the character spacing. I could not find the options for this one. So these are also not available. The only time you can do this is in the actual resource text tab. So you'd have to go to resources, you have to click on the text and change the font and character spacings from here. Now, the one cool thing though, is you can still edit the text from here, but that is all that we can do. We can't adjust the font and stuff like this. And so you can see that all these options are basically the same. They might be named a little different. And I have stars representing what these are talking about. For connection points, we can't actually let you choose a connection point. You have to type in the, the actual ID for it. If you want to know how to get an ID real quick, all you got to do is go to plugins, bring up the show log here. You'll get a window like this. And then you're going to go to your animations. And we'll click on the player. We'll add a connection point right here. Let's just say right here, we're going to select off of it and clear it. And then we're going to click on that connection point and it's going to show you the ID. So this ID connection point is four. All right. So that's how you would get that connection point ID. And so, yeah, that's all that you have to do. You just go to add, go to plugins tab, click show text outline, select your text, select if you want it full or drop down shadow. Now you will note that the background is actually none by default because that's how I usually prefer it. But if you want, you can still use the black, white and, and image resource if you need. So hopefully you find this plugin useful. Like, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with Pixel Game Maker content. Any questions, comments below, Steam Forms will get you figured out. That said, I'll see you at the next video.